One of the fun things about ham radio is making stuff. I'm going to show you the morning beverage antenna. This was the first antenna that I built back in 1993 when I became a ham radio operator. And uh, it's really a cool little antenna. And at the time, didn't know much of anything about uh, antennas or feed lines or any of the theory. But uh, the explanation that uh, the guy gave was really good. Let's see, it was designed by K4ZZM. And at the time, his call sign was W4FXE. But I see that it was changed. I just looked it up a little while ago. And uh, anyway, uh, I still have the instructions on how to make this. I'd be happy to share it with anybody that's interested. And I'll show you the inside of this antenna. It's pretty simple and clever. And we'll raise the cover up here. Use a piece of copper tubing for the element. And then uh, there's the SO239. And it uses a variable capacitor here. And the way he gets this thing to match up for the uh, 50 ohm uh, coaxial cable is uh, you, you uh, mount the SO239 a couple inches up from the bottom and attach this copper wire down in there um, an inch and a half from the bottom of the can. So I soldered that on there and um, soldered the variable capacitor up here. He gives all the instructions you need and then you tune it by stick a little screwdriver in here and you can tune this thing up. It works really great. I'm in the process of setting up my ham shack after I've been off the air for a few years and I've got my HF antennas up, my tower up, so on but I don't have the two meter capability yet. When I get that uh, going, I'll connect this coffee can antenna and give you a little show and tell. But there it is. The morning beverage antenna. 73's everybody.